about fish brain that, that's absolutely my favorite is being able to see the catches in there. And so we've got a phone right here that's not a pro and you can see catches on a, on an account. Even if you're not a pro hit the map, you can zoom in. Like we, I grew up fishing rock deer meat, blue Gabe and I all grew up fishing, uh, Dubois in Jupiter. Same. So, <laughs> So I think everyone that grew up in Jupiter grew up fish in Dubois, <laughs> poor fish at Dubois. Anyways, hit the map, zoom in to wherever. It could be whatever favorite lake you like to fish and hit catches down on the bottom. And what do you know? You actually can see we had the fish brain meetup yeah, at Dubois. they all are. And you see their catches because those are all very recent catches. What do we see? Spot pin, pin, spot fin, pin fish. We see mangrove snapper, a scorpion fish, a blue runner, mangrove snapper, a snook. We see all of these different fish down there, schoolmaster snapper, of course, catfish, uh, a little juvenile mutton snapper, another mutton snapper. Isn't that so cool to see all those fishes? So, hey, there's Alo with a parrotfish. So even if you're not a pro subscriber, you hit community, you default the community or social feed, you hit the map, and then you zoom into whatever area you want and you do catches. Like, let's jump out to Lake Okeechobee. Just actually, I'm not even going to do Lake Okeechobee. I'm going to do one of the other um, uh, areas out west where I know a lot of friends go bass fishing. I'm going to go do catches. Now look, the feed changes totally. Now it's all bass, bowfin, and some freshwater snook. We saw Parra catch that nice freshwater snook the yep. other day. And so to me, my favorite feature in fish brain are the catches. There's so much good, useful stuff in here. I want to talk about depth contours on the next video. We'll keep these short. But catches, if you're a pro subscriber, you see all the green dots. You see the catch locations. If you're not a pro, you still can go to a location and look at catches and see all the cool fish being caught. And on catches, you can set the privacy. When you log a fish, you can go in. Let's just do it real quick. I'm going to go in. I'm going to do, I'm on the community tab and I'm going to just do like I'm going to log a fish. I'm not going to log a fish. Well, I'll grab this. Hey, I think that's Crystal with a big old kingfish. Yes, We're using her phone. Now look down here on privacy. This is so important to me. You can see location privacy is set to private. If you set your location privacy to private, it's blacked out. It's not in the data shown in fish brain. It's not shown to your friends. It's not shown to anyone. If you go in, I like on something like a kingfish caught out drifting out pelagic, I would do public. That's going to be shown to everyone. That's one of the green dots. It's not a secret spot where you catch a kingfish, right, no sure. matter what you think. Right, for sure. Or, hey, how are we supposed to work if y'all Oh, what'd you catch? Yellowfin Pen Mahara. Nice. All right, so back on catch locations, we got to stay focused here. People are fishing, <laughs> we're not. Back on catch locations, you do private, anyone can see it. If you do competitive, see the fishing water name? That's going to let people see the general area where you caught it, but not your precise location. So you got three levels of privacy. Totally private, you select private, no one's seeing your data. You select competitive, they can see generally the area, the region where you caught it, but not the precise location or you do public and they can see it. It's the coolest tool in fish brain, logging fish and then sharing that, that general data. I, the majority of my fish I log as competitive. I want people to know I caught something offshore of Jupiter. I just don't want them to know precisely. Yeah, where. yeah, yeah, for sure. If you're bottom fishing, you don't want them to know. No, right. no, I'm not showing my grouper numbers. <laughs> Anyways, to me, the locations, right? The locations go hand in hand with logging fish. That's what's driving the data. Did you know we have over 14 million users in FishBrain? And in 2021, the calendar year 2021, FishBrain app was open 100 million times. It's amazing. It's awesome. What a great community. Dude, it's crazy. Yeah. yeah.